So in Pocket 3D, what grading contractors have been using it for lately is for volume calculations. Week to week basis, you can take uh, cut fill reports, progress reports. Uh, under Pocket 3D, we have what's called the Calc Wizard. If I go into Calc Wizard, I can create a 10 surface from points and lines. After I've shot stockpiles or if I've shot existing ground, I can then from that moment forward, a week later, shoot that same existing ground after it's been cut and create another 3D surface. If I compare those two surfaces down here, I can then tell it from here to the other one, read a report. What's going to tell me is my cut fill based off one to the other. So grain contractors can actually now get a pretty good tight quantities of what's been going on in that specific area. Now, if I do an existing topo of the whole site before I even get out there and break dirt, what I can then do is based off of each section, I can do an existing topo or the undercut of one specific area compared to that existing ground. And now I can get in this area what my cut fill is and then go over to my pond, shoot those points and get a cut fill of just my ponds. Or from site to site, I can just say run on an ATV. I can put this in auto topo mode. And then from auto topo, I can do by time. And then what's going to happen is it's going to shoot a point at whatever interval. It's definitely recommended to do it this way. That way, if you set up your GPS rover on the back of a, you know, you can put it on the back of your truck, ATV, four-wheeler, anything that allows you to manipulate that site or drive across that site a lot faster, just to get a 3D representation of that existing surface. And then from that moment forward, anytime you take a 3D elevation shot and build a surface from there on out, you can compare it to the first and get quantity reports.